So, oh my god, yeah. So, Tia, Maury, and Corey are getting a divorce after 14 years of marriage with two kids. This is so, so sad. It is said that they met in 1999 and they fell in love and got married. Yeah, 1999. That's a long time for two people to just be together and build a life together. And now they're getting a divorce. It is so sad. I don't know. Sometimes I just, I just don't know. I can't think this thing called marriage. Like, it's crazy. Like, one minute you just head over heel somebody and the next minute it's like it means nothing oh, all those times i just spent together meant nothing it's so sad but i'm gonna read to you guys like what she posted on instagram it says i have always been honest with my fans and today is no different i wanted to share that corey and i have decided to go our separate ways this is so sad these decisions are never easy and not without sadness we will maintain a friendship we we'll co-parent our beautiful children i am grateful for all the happy times we had together and want to thank my friends family and fans for your love and support as we start this new chapter moving forward in our lives oh my god that is so so sad that is sad she got a great personality you know what i mean like she is just outgoing and everything it is so sad but then again um it is said that a couple days like two days before she posted that story on instagram she posted something i was saying there's two things we can control in life our attitude and our effort And as hard as it is to accept all the things we cannot control and to let go, sometimes we have to in order to grow. I'm making a commitment to love myself fiercely and unconditionally. And to take more trip to the beach because it's where I'm happiest. Then on the bottom she wrote reminder you are enough you deserve love and you deserve to be understood for who you truly are tag a friend who could use a reminder yeah sometimes there are some messages that people post sometimes that's really meant to like tell something but sometimes we cannot understand if she posted this like two days before she posted about their divorce it tells something you know you never know what people are dealing with. You never know what people are struggling with, struggling with, especially when it comes to this thing called marriage. Yeah, they always used to say the roof, the roof of the house, it covers everything. Just because you see people smiling like on pictures, smiling videos and stuff like that, doesn't mean everything is okay. You don't know what they're dealing, with, what they're struggling with from the inside. You know, it's sad. I feel so bad. I feel so sorry. But again, um, she posted letting go can be painful, but it won't hurt as much as holding on to an illusion. Yes. Then after she posted that, Corey posted acting off of emotions will cost every time. And I think that his message has been deleted. He probably he deleted that message right away. But it is so sad, you know. But sometimes, to be honest, um, one bad thing that you can do to yourself is to sit and deceive yourself. Sit and act like everything is okay when you know deep down in your soul, nothing is okay. Nothing is, is going right. You know, sometimes you just have to make that decision to move on. It is hard. I'm not going to say it's easy because I've been down that road before. Divorce is a really, really crazy thing. Then after the divorce comes like the process of like co-parenting, which is like, oh my God, oh my God. Like it is so difficult, especially if you're doing with somebody that is not understanding. It is very difficult and draining. You know, you feel like, okay, I'm divorced now. Okay, that part is over. But the most challenging part 
is to be able to co-parent with somebody that y'all don't see eye to eye with you know what i mean like it has to take like one person to just be like you know what it's difficult it's difficult let me just put it that way but all we can do right now is like just pray for her like moving moving forward is not easy it's not easy you know i've seen people i've talked to people that after a divorce like it's just wrecked them completely you know they become like a complete different person but all we can do is hope for the best and just pray for her as she takes care of her two beautiful kids but thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys i'm gonna teach you how to make a drink that's all you have to do is just pour some wine in a glass and drink <laughs>